Shalom, 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 Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brothers from the GMS Valley camp once again. For our GMS North Carolina, I'm the brother Lafon. <clears throat> I'm the brother Tazaba. All right. <clears throat> the GMS Valley North Carolina camp. But before we go any further, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to our Heavenly God, the Son, Yahweh, Bashem. Uh, and next a double honor to our elder apostles slash elder bishop of great millstone who still hit the streets and feed us with the 100 percent truth according to the bible and who will we shall have to all the sincere arguments out there laboring pushing this word 100 percent truth according to the bible throughout the whole center of earth to the best of their ability you got it brother <clears throat> it's the book of proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 and it reads, mm -hmm. the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and it's safe. That's right. And what's a strong tower? A strong tower is a, it's a place of refuge. It's the place of defense where when, it, when all else fails, that's going to be your safety. And everything that we trusted in in the world failed, man. We believe in the school system. We believe in fake ass religion. You know? These, these different indoctrina indoctrinations of the so-called white man, CGE. So now that the Lord allowed us to come back to our heritage and our nationality, the name of Yahweh Bashim is that unpenetratable ultimate defense tower when the electors go run into it and be safe, man. Meaning the Lord is going to protect them. Right. That was it on Come on, bro. You got it, bro. This <clears throat> is the book of Psalms. 124 chapter 124 and verse 8 it says our help is in the name of the lord yahweh who made heaven and earth you got it bro God, yep our help you know as the hopeful elect this the lord is our help you know as a brother read you no know, the, the name of the lord is, is is a help unto us i got a definition for that word help it says uh mm -hmm. It says, uh, it's the Google definition. It says, make it easier for someone to do something by offering mm. one's, one's services or resources. And some of the key words here, it says, um, for help, it says, assist, uh, aid, help out. If I may, that's what, that's what, that's what the Lord did by way of this internet, man. See, the elder apostles had to go throughout the whole planet of earth for brothers to, to, to hear this blessed word. The Lord, no, the Lord made it easier for this word being pushed out through the internet, man. You know? And now you got brothers throughout the four corners of the earth in GMS teaching the 100% truth in their own language in the name of Yahweh by Shimao Shah, man. That was the Lord, man. You got it, bro. Fly. Nah, you good, brother. Yep, it says, uh, I read that, read that songs again. It says, Psalms 124 and 8. It says, Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth, right? Because we're coming up to some troubling times, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of the sea hip, you know, martial law, all these prophecies is jumping off the pages, right? And in the time of trouble, hey, at the hope for let, we're going to call upon the name of the Lord, man. We're not going to call on Jesus Christ, right? We're not going to call on Yahshua. Yehoshua, Yah, Allah, Buddha. We're not going to call on all these other false gods, right? Uh, for all these other false philosophies that these other camps pushing, or these other, you know, these other, you know, people of the world, these other, because when it all boils down to it, whatever you put your trust in, if it's not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, hey, it's going to fail you, man. Right, so we put our we put our we put our hope and our trust in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You got it, brother. Yeah, it says that in the book of uh at uh I believe it was uh the righteous Pharisee Gamaliel that told that told our people this is this and this council this work be as man, it's gonna come to naught. But if this be the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you can't overthrow it, man. So you can't do nothing against the truth. But before the truth, man. Mm -hmm. Talk about the scoffers and scorners and naysayers. But uh, that's doubt with the true name of the Lord. 
This is the book of uh, Psalm 20, verse 7. It says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, which represents power. That's why our people trust in these political matters, man. Because they actually think whoever gets into that presidency is actually going to help them, man. The two thirds of the thing these, 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 these um, puppets called presidents who really work for the uh, wicked elite. They really think that whoever will get in, in that president seat is going to help them and have the power to do whatever they want. Which, no, you know, that, that, that's false hope right there, man. That's bank. You know? Then they, you got you to gotta eat them, Mike. You got to eat them, Mike. And they don't give a damn about your Israelites, man. At all. But two thirds, somebody got to play the role of two thirds, somebody got to play the role of the elect. Uh, it says, but we will remember the name of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, our power. And it's all thanks to the Lord, man. The Lord allowed us to uh, to reverence those names, to fear those names, mm -hmm. and to call on those names, man, and to keep our heritage to the best of our ability, like we're right. doing now, man. The day of atonement, man, like we're doing now, right. <clears throat> got some, bro. We, we, we remember the names of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You got it, bro. Uh, this the book of Zephaniah 3 and 9. It says, For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may call upon the name of the Lord to mm. serve him with one consent. Yeah, and that pure language is the Lashua and Kodash, the Hebrew tongue, man. You know, that's the pure language. So the so the Lord's name is gonna be in Hebrew, man. You know, but 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 we're not gonna get into that. You know, Jay, there you know a lot of them agents and demons. So we know the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son is Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. That's who we gonna put our trust and faith in, man. And first and foremost, fear those names. You know. But uh, let's see. All right, this is the book of uh, Psalms 116, verse 17. It says, I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving, mm. and I will call upon the names of Yahweh by Shibu And what's the sacrifice to us, man? We present our bodies as a living sacrifice in the highways and hedges, you know, and throughout the week, man. We're doing it now, man. With thanksgiving, give it, always giving thanks to Yahweh by Shibu we can't be, we can never be thankful to the Lord enough for him sitting us on the, on the straight uh the, the, the right way, man. You know, that narrow gate, the gate the gate of difficulty, which is the right way to go. Right, bro. Do you got it, brother. You got it. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. It's the book of uh Proverbs thirty and four. It says, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Mm -hmm. who have who have gathered the wind in his fist <clears throat> who have bound the waters in a garment who have established all the ends of the earth what is mm -hmm. his what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell mm -hmm. <laughs> right so yeah. which which shows you a this is going to another topic but which shows you that the father and the son are not the same Right, it showed you that the father has a name, which is Yahweh. He is, he exists, right? Yep. And Yahweh Shah, who's the only begotten son, right? Who the world calls Jesus Christ, he is the deliverer, he saves, man. Right? It says, Who it says, What is his name and what is his son? What and, and what is his son's name? Right? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. The true uh, names. The true names, man. And that's what we call on. All right, and we reverence those names with, with high regard, man. You know, but you got it, brother. Yep. And you know, those who don't want to do it, hey, well, guess what? We prepare for the Lord to send a whole lot of to torturous, brutal judgment your way, man. You know, even in the time of debating about this and that, now, nah, if you don't believe, you can just move on. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Um, there's so many, man. There's so many. Yeah. Uh, I got something else too. Whenever you get ready. Yeah, let, I'm gonna grab this right fast. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms 29 and 2 it says, "Give unto you how about Shemuel Shah, 
the glory due unto his name, which is what that protect, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody want they everybody want, you know what I'm saying? You know who we talk about. They want their names to be uh what's the word? They want their names to be respected. But you ain't gonna put the respect on the names of your Habibah Shimmy Shah, the creators of the heavens and the earth. The scripture told us to give uh let me read again. This is Psalms 29 to 2. It says, Give unto Yahweh by Shimon Shah the glory due unto his name. This is the same power that's protecting us now, man. It's just the situation that we don't even know about. The same power that delivers us out of Egypt, you know, the same power that's going to, to deliver his elect for the whole whole planet of earth, man, when he comes, when Lord Yahweh shall return to the chariot, we'll call you a foes, man. It says, uh, give give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name, which is worship the Lord and the beauty of holiness. And that's what we're doing, man. We're, rehearsing, we're, we're rehearsing our best acts to the best of our ability. In the name of Yahweh, by Shem, how shall out of the fear of the Lord. You got it, bro. Uh, it's the book of Exodus 3 and uh, 13. It says, and Moses said unto the heavenly father, behold, when I come unto the children of Israel and shall say unto them, the God of your fathers have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, what is his name? Mm. What shall I say unto them? Right, so this is our forefather Moses, right? He, he, was, he was coming to the heavenly father like, hey, when I go, when I go speak to your people, hey, what, what, what I need to tell, like, what's your name? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They gonna they gonna they gonna ask me what your name is, <laughs> you know? Right. And it, and the name was only given to the Israelites, man. Not right. to not to the rest of the world. So the name Jesus, that's what everybody else calling on, man. So that can't be the name. <laughs> that ain't the name, you know. The name, the Lord's name is Yahweh, you know. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. But hey, Moses was posing that question, man. He was asking the Lord, like, hey, what I need to go to your people, what I need to tell them. Like, what's your name? You know what I'm saying? Like they gon' they wanna know, <laughs> you know? We and we got it back. We got that name back. Right. We got it back, brother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be like, hey, well, you said this guy sent you or uh, what's his name? Yeah. You know, you know, the choir of mine is going to want to know. And, 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 and King Moses told him. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, the heavy fire, your heart would tell me to uh, came on you to, to do this right here. Mm -hmm. I got another one. This is uh, first, what's that? First Chronicles 16 and 10. It says, Glory ye in his holy name. Mm -hmm. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahweh. Bahashin, Yahweh Shai. And the world hard go back to the Hebrew world. Lavish means the mind. And the only one's going to rejoice when they seek the Lord through the men of the Lord. It's going to tell them to do them, don't support them to the Bible. It's going to be the whole full leg of the nation of Israel, man. Like that Jig last week. Jig last week, he was rejoicing. You know what yep. I'm saying? When he took, when he took the, uh, the, the Lord, man, through the men of the Lord, when he found him. Yep. He said he couldn't even keep. They couldn't even keep walking. He said something just kept pulling him and, and keep pulling him back to the to the, to the prophets, man. Right, bro. <laughs> That's the prophet. That's the Holy Spirit, man. From me, how uh, about you now? Child. Right, bro. All through the spirit of the Lord, man. All through the spirit of y'all about you now, child. Um, I get it. I like it. I know you good, but you good. I'm gonna get um get one of our favorites right here. This Mal uh Malachi three and sixteen it says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the and Lord heart It all starts with the fear of the Lord, man. Yeah, so, that fear you have about you know, shot the Lord allow the uh to come back to that heritage, that nationality, man. You got it. It says spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Book of remembrance, the Bible, man. The scriptures. The scriptures. 
for those that fear the names of Yahweh by Shib and Yahweh Shai. Now, those that fell out and went back into the world, because you took your hand off the plow, well, the Lord's going, the Lord's got some severe judgment for you, man. You know, the scripture says sevenfold more upon sinners, man. Those are supposed to know better and do better. You're going to receive the worst of judgment of all, man. The Lord is not pleased with that. Mm -hmm. That's why we do what we got to do to the best of our abilities to please the Lord. To hell with this damn world. That was it on that, bro. Yeah, that was it on that one. Um, uh, yeah, anything else, or that was it. I had one more for you. Bobby for sure. It's the book of Acts 4 and 12. It says, Neither is there salvation in any other. Mm. For that for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There's only one true name. One true name. It is Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Okay, if you don't like it, the Lord don't give a damn. We don't give a damn, and the Lord is going to crush you. The Lord is going to send pure hell your way. You know, that's it. Either you repent or you're going to be destroyed, man. That's it. There ain't no debating. The true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, man. Not no damn Jesus, man. Mm -hmm. Not no other false, those, those false names, you know. It's Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. That was that big, bro. Yeah, that's all I got, bro. Play with that. Looking this, this was edifying. You know, the brothers from the GMS Valley camp with a Lord's with an edifying lesson. But before we close out, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and for the God of Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. And that's a double honor to our elder apostles slash elder bishop of a millstone, which shall want to the sincere arguments out there, pushing 100 percent truth according to the Bible throughout the whole planet earth to the best of their ability. Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect. To the elect. Shalom. Shalom.